tidak biasanya uh, melakukan hal-hal. When I first brought Tasha to school, uh, I was a little nervous. I was worried because at home Tasha didn't really do things like normal kids do. <laughs> sometimes she wouldn't listen to me, or sometimes she just screamed, or sometimes she just cries. Ten, nine, eight, seven. I brought her to a doctor for the brain. He confirmed that this child does have autism. We knew right off that she was incredibly motivated by music and musical instruments and doing things that way. So we wanted to keep developing like a whole box of tools of things that would keep her engaged because she also has a very short attention span. So something that would engage her one day wouldn't necessarily the next. We wanted to teach her in a different way so that she wasn't running to the heater and banging on the heater or pulling the plugs out of the computers, so. When I first met Tasha, she would have meltdowns sometimes just if schedules were off or if people were different or if she just didn't get her way. <laughs> Where are we going? Are we gonna finish the book? So we wanted to be able to be proactive about constantly trying to try different things to make sure that she is able to express what she wants or needs or feels to the best of her ability. Thin, it was another very thin, easy to pour liquid. How many states of matter are there again? Three. Three, there are three states of matter and what are when Tasha came to my class last year, she had a very basic, what we called a talk box, so an augmentative communication device. And it had like five basic pages of pre-programmed things, and she used it in structured settings that were the same all the time, so we could make calendar one of the pages that worked all the time. But we found that she was wanting to say and was more engaged than that device allowed. And finally, last May, we were able to purchase the district it did um, the Vantage Light for her to use. She is usually able to go through m multiple steps to finding different things that she wants to say. You're a snack? <laughs> the team itself went to a lot of trainings on how to support her using it and she became a lot more involved in the classroom that way, socially and academically. So we were able to make pages that connected to every lesson in the room instead of just the things that happened every day all the time, as well as social pages of asking questions and telling jokes. And we found that once she got that, there were joke pages on it and during snack time, all of the kids would come over and they'd ask her to tell them a joke. <laughs> they would ask if they could touch it too. Can Caitlin try? Yes or no? Can Caitlin try? Yes or no? I just like him. Her hands resting on me. Yes. Thank you. Since Tasha has had her device, her behaviors have decreased. In the small amount of time that she's had the device, it's also really increased her verbal output. She is saying all kinds of different things. Who is this? I have a library on Friday. You do. I think with this device and from the help of her teachers, she's uh, learning more and more. I go to Mrs. B. Go to Mrs. B. So with this, uh, at home, she speaks sentences that she would never speak before. Yeah. She, when I first started here at recess time and at lunch time, would just kind of be by herself. But this year, she's really become very socially aware of what's going on in the class and wanting to be with her friends and sit by them and do what they're doing. 
I've been out on the playground before for recess duty and there'll be a student with autism or another disability that will walk by and there are some kids who without having those experiences tend to shy away. But when I look out and I see students from my class out there, they're engaging with everyone and they will go over and they'll want to play with Tasha. I feel like they take it and that's a life lesson for them and that sometimes those lessons are better than what the magic E does in a word. <laughs> I'm sleeping in school, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! became part of the Positive Behavioral Interventions and Support System, um, PBIS, back when the state of New Hampshire first um, provided that as an opportunity. So we really looked at that as how we could provide a good, strong, universal basis. And then we have students who we may need a more intense program with. For those, we'll bring in quite a few staff people, possibly some people from um, the community who are involved in wraparound services, and look uh, with them how we can support them through not only our own, but area agencies. We want to make sure that the classroom teacher is the pivotal person. There are individual meetings each week so that the classroom teacher would come to the meeting so that the special education providers would have uh, an idea of what the classroom teacher is working on so that all of their lessons can be supportive of, of what the regular classroom is doing. Summersworth is not an affluent community. You know, we do not have a lot of economic resources. However, um, we feel like we are people rich has just been committed to that kind of an approach ever since we began working with students with um, significant disabilities. It's just who we are. <laughs> yeah. I was happy to know that my kid, Tasha, will be in the same class as everyone else because I thought it would give her the opportunity to look at uh, ki other kids who are normal and do what they usually do. Instead of being in a classroom with just more kids with autism, then I, I would feel that she wouldn't really learn anything new. If she wasn't in the classroom, she wouldn't be able to see what the other kids were doing to pick it up. She's very observant of what the other kids are doing. Some of the kids that she is in the classroom with now have been with her for a year or two or have been with other students with different disabilities. So they're very open to helping out and they're aware that they're modeling also. We have to do it. No, don't touch her. I'm not touching her. She's touching me and her. My philosophy is that Social growth and learning how to engage with everyone in the world is just as important as learning your academics. And I have just felt that the kids have so many rewarding experiences just learning to accept and to understand and to support people that are different. I am you paper. We want her to be Tasha, and if Tasha is going to do her work at her desk or at a table or under the table or wherever, that's fine. If you're not willing to differentiate your instruction for the wide range of learners that you have, including students with autism, then you're not in the right profession. We're in front. Excuse us. Yeah, she makes me a much better teacher. Um, patience is a virtue. <laughs> Where are you going? The piano, right here. Everyone has strengths and weaknesses, and very often we learned things from Tasha that we wouldn't have learned had she not been in here. She amazed the class all the time. Just want to let you know that we've never actually done this before, so we're kind of figuring it out. 
as we go along. This is also a concert for uh, to hear some special piano playing. So you're going to hear some solos on the piano. As a parent, I am worried about her, about how she will be and how she would be like socially, her development socially. Even if she still has autism, I think she can find happiness because I think she's a happy child. She's always expressing her feelings through music. Mm -hmm. 